The issue of transporting a kayak to and from the water can seem like an obstacle to getting into kayak fishing or to getting the kayak that you really want, but it doesn't have to be. In this video, we're going to share simple tools and techniques that will allow you to get to and from the water with ease so you can have an unlimited experience in your new canoe kayak. The new canoe transport cart is a great tool to assist in car top in your new canoe kayak. Before we car top a new canoe kayak, we're going to take out the seats. So loosen the knobs, remove the seat, and then pull out the track bolts. If you have the quick release bracket, simply pop off the seat. Next, we're going to lift up the bow handle, rotate the kayak upside down, and then lift it overhead. Get your hands on the gunnels, rotate it over, kind of wrap it around one arm, and then two hands back to the gunnels, rest it up on the vehicle, then lift from the transom and slide it on the racks. You have to, may have to wiggle to get over the side handles and such. This works great for all new canoe models, the F10, the Flint, and the Pursuit. Then remove the transport cart, secure your straps, and you are good to go. The same technique can be used without the transport cart. You want to have a foam pad or towel or something to protect the transom. Then you're going to roll the boat upside down, rest it on that nice square transom, lift it up, walk around the back, and again set it on the rear of the vehicle, walk around to the transom, lift and slide. This is a 13 and a half foot kayak that weighs 82 pounds. Car topped it with ease. If you have a buddy, car topping is real simple. Simply hold on to the kayak on the bow and stern handles, then you're going to rotate it over, kind of wrapping your arms around the gunnels, and then lift it overhead from the side of the vehicle, and then slide it on. The person on the transom can walk behind the vehicle, the person in front just go up next to it. If the shape of your vehicle does not allow for loading over the, the rear of the vehicle, then extended crossbars can be a great solution. They extend out so you can load it um, parallel to the vehicle on the outside. You're going to use the same technique as we used loading without the cart. Roll the kayak over on the transom, set it up on that extended crossbar, then walk around, lift it up, slide forward, and then work it in as you get it up and above the height of the vehicle. If your vehicle has parallel crossbars that run on the outsides of the rooftop, then a side loading technique using the transportation cart works great. So same as before, we're going to rotate the kayak upside down, bring it forward, set the bow end up on one side of those parallel bars on the roof rack, walk around to the transom, lift it up, and slide forward. When you get the kayak roughly centered on the vehicle, then we're going to slowly rotate it 90 degrees. You want to do this carefully, make sure you stay centered on the racks. If it leans off to one side, lift it back up, center it, and get it in position where you can secure it with your tie down straps. With the flint model, it's very possible to just do a simple overhead load. Grasp the side handles, rotate it up and over your head, and rest one side on the roof rack. Move your hands to the other side and just slide it on. With the pickup truck, you have two options. You can bring it in bow first. If you have the transport cart, it's real simple to roll the kayak right in, set the bow end up on the tailgate, then lift and slide. Alternatively, you can load it uh, transom end first. Either lift it up or just slide it on into the back of the truck, secure it down, and you're good to go. A trailer is another great tool for getting your kayak to and from the water. If you have the new canoe solo trailer, you can back up to the water and simply slide your new canoe directly onto the trailer. You may want to have a little strap to secure it so it doesn't slide back off the trailer while you're getting your tie down straps on. If you have two kayaks, the tandem trailer is the way to go. You can load them side by side and travel in style. 